Greetings and welcome back to the Lily Lectures. Today, from the pages of Christian astrology, we are looking at whether one will benefit from their knowledge or expertise in any field. Can the stars reveal if one will excel in their chosen profession? Will their pursuit of knowledge bear fruit, or will it remain elusive? Join me as we explore the insights that can guide us in understanding these profound questions. Give the querent the ascendant, its lord, and the moon. Look at the ninth house and any planet positioned there, as well as the lord of the ninth, which signifies the desired field of knowledge. Determine whether the lord of the ninth is fortunate or not, and whether it is oriental or occidental. Consider its placement in a cadent, angular, or succedent house, and whether it forms a harmonious sextile or trine aspect with the Lord of the Ascendant. If there is reception between these planets, it further strengthens their positive influence. Next, examine the aspects between the Lord of the Ninth and other planets. A square or opposition aspect suggests that the querent possesses extensive knowledge but may struggle to apply it effectively or find practical use for it. If a malefic planet aspects either the Lord of the Ninth or the Lord of the Ascendant, it indicates that despite the querent's earnest efforts, they may not achieve the desired level of knowledge or expertise. To distinguish between true knowledge, cunning, or genuine wisdom, you must assign the Ascendant to the person in question and designate the Ninth House to represent the field inquired about. If there are benefic planets present in the Ninth House, or if the Lord of the Ninth House is in a fortunate position and also forms an aspect with the Lord of the Ascendant, it suggests that the individual possesses knowledge. If the Ninth House contains malefic planets, or if the Lord of the Ninth House is in an unfortunate position and does not aspect the Lord of the Ascendant, it indicates a lack of or limited knowledge in the person. Another factor to consider is the condition of the moon and its relationship with the Lord of the Ninth House. If both the moon and the Lord of the Ninth House are applying to benefics, it signifies the existence of knowledge in the individual. However, if they are applying to malefics, it indicates a lack of knowledge or wisdom. If the Lord of the Ninth House is in an unfortunate position and does not aspect the Lord of the Ascendant, it signifies a lack of knowledge in the person, or if the inquiry pertains to someone else, it suggests they are unknowledgeable or have expertise that may not be advantageous to the querent. And that concludes our exploration today. Until next time, may your path be illuminated by the wisdom of the stars. I am William Lilly, and this is Christian Astrology.